Hello, this is Jennifer Grace and welcome to a video showing the unboxing and first use of the Heidi Swap Mink Machine. I just bought this a week ago. It's arrived finally and I wanted to share with you straight away what it's like to open it up and use it for the first time. So here I am slicing into it with my scissors. Very excited I was when this arrived. I actually did a little skip when the courier knocked on the door. He laughed at me. <laughs> but there we go. Right, so inside my box I've got my mink machine and I also ordered five rolls of the foil. I ordered some more Heidi Swap tags and 6 by 6 papers and things and some more carrier sheets which haven't arrived yet. <laughs> but it was okay because it came with a couple of tags in the mink machine package so I was able to get started straight away anyway so here I am slicing open the box for the actual machine I got this from Create and Craft TV it was a worldwide exclusive they were the first people to release it um, I paid £99 for the machine um, 9 99 each for the foils. I say I paid that. That's the Create and Craft price. It was the price when I paid for it, but I am a member of the Create and Craft Club, so you get 10% off. So I actually paid £89 for the machine. So that's right. So the machine looks lovely. It's such a gorgeous design. I think it's brilliant when machines look good <laughs> you don't mind having them out on your workspace all the time because they're so pretty it's white and it's got gold stripes on it and everything it's lovely in the package you also get a carrier sheet we'll see me using that in a minute uh, you get a sample of the gold foil an instruction booklet owner's manual um, a few tags which just fell out there so that you can start using the machine straight away and uh, there was a little bit of additional information about the fact that the machine gives a, a bit of odour when you first use it. It's a bit smelly. <laughs> it smells a bit like when you've just cleaned the oven and you're warming it up. But this only lasts for the first couple of uses. I can say I've used it a couple more times since recording this video and it doesn't smell anymore now. <laughs> so that's alright. <laughs> okay, so I was checking the manual there to make sure what I had to do before I could plug it in and it's got like a protective plastic on top of the machine you can just about see it here I guess it's just to cover up the um, gold pattern on the machine to make sure it doesn't get damaged during transit or something so you just have to peel that off before you heat it up for the first time I'm guessing you'll melt the plastic otherwise and to make even more stench <laughs> so make sure you do that so I just peel that off from one side to the other. There's a bit of light shining on my machine here, so I'll turn my light off. There you go. <laughs> Makes the machine look much better. So you can see it's lovely and shiny. It all looks well made. And like the expensive piece of equipment that it is. So um, I was just checking I need to do anything else. I just need to untangle the power cord. It's got like a wire twisty around it. So I'm ready to plug that in. Now the lead isn't very long. The power cable is not very long, which is a bit frustrating. It was quite awkward for me to stretch it to the extension lead I have got over by my table, but wasn't quite in the right place for a video it was alright for using it otherwise but for a video it was a bit of a stretch but I managed it just about so I want to turn it on the power button is just on the back little on off switch so you flip that on the other switch on the back is a forward and reverse switch but for now we're just turning up the on switch on and then I check the manual to make sure about pressing the gold button 
So the go button, you then have to press to actually get it going. So the on switch at the back just makes sure that power is going to the machine. And then you press the gold button to actually turn it on to get it moving, to get the rollers going, to get it heated up. So you press the button enough times to get it up to the level that you need to heat it at. Most things will be on the heat setting of three, so like cardstock and thick paper and stuff, is the heat setting of three. The other ones are going to be for things like transparencies, vellum, chipboards. I don't know how easy it is to print on any of those things. Heidi Swap, I'm assuming, will be bringing them out later in the year. But for cardstock and for these tags that come in the set, it is the heat setting of three. So, I'm going to start off by using the gold foil that comes with the machine. Might as well, that's what it's there for. You can see the little red light blinking on the machine in the background. That's just telling us that the machine's heating up, but it's not ready to use yet. It'll go green when it's ready to use. Now, when I was trying to take my foil out of the packet, I got it all stuck to the adhesive strip on the plastic packet. So please be careful if you get the mach this machine and you try and open your foil, cut off that bit of sticky tape before you try and pull the foil out because otherwise you'll get in a big fat mess like I did. So there we go. You can see how I mullered the top part of my foil by getting it stuck to the plastic. Again, sticky tape on the plastic bag. But never mind. You can see, look, my machine is ready to go now because the light's gone green. How fast was that? It says it takes one to three minutes to warm up and it really did only take like a minute. It's amazing. So now I'm just trying to cut a piece of the gold foil down to cover up my tag. Something I've discovered, this foil is really hard to cut. <laughs> no, it's not really. If you have sharp scissors, you'll be fine. I had my general crafting scissors, which are a little bit gummed up from using on sticky tape and things that I probably shouldn't use them for. So they aren't very sharp and they were a bit difficult to get through the foil. So next time I'm going to use my very sharp scissors. So I've cut a piece of foil just big enough to cover up the tag. You need to make sure it does go over the edges of the tag. You want to have a bit of space around it to make sure the foil does go right over the edges, right up to the edges, I mean. You don't want it to end up with patches along the edges of your tags or whatever you're foiling. So I've put those both into the carrier sheet. Um, then I'm going to feed the carrier sheet into the mink machine. Now this takes me a little while to do because I could not for the life of me work out how far in the rollers were. I was sure they wouldn't be that far in the machine. Surely I didn't have to push the carrier sheet all the way into the machine. I didn't want to break it by forcing it in too far. So um, I was trying at different amounts of depth into the machine. Pushing it in a little bit more, a little bit more. No, it's still not going into the rollers. What I've discovered is that the rollers are a really long way in. <laughs> See, I'm pushing it, pushing it. Look how far it takes before the rollers actually take this. Come on, push it a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Oh, there they are. <laughs> so, okay. The rollers are in quite a way. <laughs> but you'll know when it gets to them because it'll start pulling it through. I thought maybe for a moment my rollers were just broken. But no, they're just quite a way into the machine. So it then it just starts taking it through the machine you don't need to do anything else that reverse and forward button is there on the back if you put the carrier sheet in at an awkward angle um, and if it starts sort of getting stuck you then press the reverse button so it comes back out the way it's gone in you mustn't try and yank it out I watched that on a Heidi Swap video I'm not just all knowing <laughs> so uh, while that's finishing going through I'm just going to open up my other colours of foil so you can have a little look at those see how shiny and pretty they are 
So this first one is the mint colour. This is such an original colour I think. I don't think you can get this in most foils. Like I've seen other places selling foil but not mint. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> and then this one I'm trying to open now is the teal colour. This was the one I was most excited about as you probably noticed from my blog and my other design things and my nails here in this video. I would love teal. I do love that colour. <laughs> that and gold are probably the ones I'll use most often. This one's hot pink. I am not always a pink girl but this hot pink is so nice and bold and I thought it added a bit of life to my coloured choices. It was between this and red. It was a really hard choice between this and red. But I went for hot pink in the end because I thought it was a bit more summery. I'll probably end up buying red a bit more towards Christmas. I turned the light on for a sec there to try and show just how bold this pink is. It's really bright. It's even brighter than it looks here. Like really bold and strong. Right, my tags come all the way through the machine. So here we go, let's have a look. Dum -da -da -dum. There it is, all shiny. Doesn't it look lovely? Okay, so this one turned out really well. It's got a nice even coverage. It's lovely and shiny and gold. I do love gold. <laughs> So I'm going to try another tag, try another foil out. This one's the teal colour. So it comes with like a little sticky circle on the foil, holding it shut. So I just need to peel that off first, very carefully. <laughs> you probably do it a lot more carefully than I did. I was trying to rush because of the video, but there we go. So I'm just going to do the tag with a little arrow on the bottom. So I just need a little tiny bit of foil for this one because it's not the design's not covering the whole tag. The foil is only going to stick to the black areas. It basically sticks to toner ink. So all Heidi Swap's mink items will come with that toner ink on. Or you can print them yourself if you've got a laser printer with toner ink in it, which I do. Hooray! Um, or you can pop to uh, local printers or, or photocopiers. Most photocopiers have toner ink in, I think, so you can use it there. But you can't use it on inkjet printers. It won't stick to inkjet ink. So when you're putting in, you make sure the colour of the foil is facing upwards the same as the printed part is facing upwards so they're both right way up okay what you can see here which I did not notice until it had come out the other side is that the piece of foil had shifted a little bit I thought that it was just because I didn't use a big enough piece of foil but I've since realized that it's just the staticness of the carrier sheet tends to pick up the foil sometimes and move it a bit so you have to make really sure that it's in the right place still before you put it through the machine you'll see it in a moment I uh, just opened up the silver so you can see what that looks like against the teal taking off the little sticky circle there on the silver I had to have silver and gold it didn't seem right buying a foiling machine and not getting silver and gold. <laughs> I haven't used the silver much yet though. Gold is definitely the one that calls me the most. Here we go, silver. My daughter was most excited about the hot pink, which I was quite impressed by because she doesn't normally like pink very much. She's not a pink girly girl. She normally prefers green, that's her favourite colour. But she really likes this hot pink. I think it's because it's so bold. Plus, I think it makes her think of Pinkie Pie off of My Little Pony. 
<laughs> okay, so there we go. The hot pink. It's still just you can't quite see how bright it is on this video, but it is gorgeous. Okay, so here we go. This is where I realise that the foil moved a bit. So it hasn't covered the whole edge of the tag. It's left a little bit of black ink down the left hand side there. Did look gorgeous apart from that error. So what I decided to do is just try and run it through again uh, with that extra bit of foil on just to see whether it'll join up okay, whether my error can be fixed. It's worth a try, right? No harm in trying. I also noticed I've got a bit of ink on the carrier sheet. Heidi Swap has said in her videos, be careful not to get the ink on your carrier sheet. <laughs> and I go and do it the very first time I'm using the machine. <laughs> Ugh. But at least it's only a little tiny bit and I'm not planning on doing any 12 by 12 papers so I can avoid that part of the carrier sheet. If I was doing 12 by 12 papers it might be more of a problem. But I have extra carrier sheets coming to me as well, so that'd be alright. <laughs> I think if you've got black ink on the carrier sheet, it's then just going to transfer to the foil if you're putting it through. Or something like that. It's not good anyway. I ordered extra carrier sheets so that if I'm doing... Oh look, this is the mint. Isn't it shiny and pretty? <laughs> I ordered extra carrier sheets because then if I'm doing a lot of things at once, I can line them all up in a little... Um, ready to go line <laughs> and um, it'll save me a bit of time I hope when they turn up eventually that is so you can see it really doesn't take that long for the sheet to go through Heidi Swap does say you can cut the carrier sheets down so you could have a couple of small carrier sheets if you are doing a lot of tags and things then you don't have to wait so long for them to go th all the way through the machine if you've got a small carrier sheet it'll go through a little bit quicker but it doesn't take that long anyway so it's not a big problem unless you're mass producing it okay here we go let's see how that looks okay it's got a bit of a join you can see where I've overlapped it let's zoom in a bit here you can see where the overlap is of the two bits of foil. It looks kind of like there's a bit of sticky tape on it, which there's not. It's just where the foil's overlapped. It looks okay. It's not It's not brilliant now, <laughs> but it's okay. It's usable. <laughs> okay, so there we go. That's the Mink Machine unboxing and first use. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll be doing some more once I get some more supplies and play with it a bit more. So please check back or subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.